Hi, today I want to share with you how I organize my stickers and as you can see I have three container store expandable files and then underneath that I have a three ring binder. So I'm just going to go one by one. The first one that I use for my shop and this is the ready to ship already printed stickers that I have for my shop which is my moon studios so the nice thing about these is they can expand out like this and it can sit on your desk you could just fold the flat back and then it'll sit there like this and what i have in here is i have my stickers for my logo i have my free samplers in the front and then i'll just quickly go through um, the rose set i've made these you can see those stickers little header stickers. I've made those on my silhouette. They're very easy to make. There's just a box and I just kind of put what's behind each one. These are all ready to ship and that's how I have them in here. I have my to-dos, my woodland set that was just done, and pastels and other ones back here. So this is how I use the ready to ship stuff. I have more but these are the ones that I'm like currently working on and I just put in here so when I list it I could pull from those easy. So the next one that I have is this blue one. It's from the container store and it is for the miscellaneous sticker shops that I buy from on Etsy and it has the same feature. It has this nice expandable so as I grow my collection, which I do, I will put them in here. So the first one, I have these by alphabetical order. So I have the Alex Studio, and I have some of their stickers back there. I have Lily Top, I have hers there. Oh Hello Stationery, I have some of those in there. One Orange Snowflake, I have those in there. Scribble Prince Co, I have the August and then the rose gold in there. Stickerific is in here. Um, Vintage Gypsy Road, I don't have those in there but I just got some that I'm gonna be putting in there after I do my Etsy sticker haul and those will be in there, which I love. And then these are just some social media ones that I have back here and miscellaneous ones that I've gotten on Etsy, just like one onesies. So that's my miscellaneous sticker shops binder and then this is the fattest one this is my whoop so I'm sure anyone can attest to this that when you're doing silhouette making you'll make it you think it looks great and then it will cut a little askew so in the front I have a whole bunch of little ones that I've done and some of these are just pushed off to the side a little bit the cuts are a little bit off so I'm not going to give those away or sell those and that's what these are so I use these myself all the time and so I have my custom headers I have the black and rose so maybe if I was trying to make this for a happy planner and maybe this one was just a little off or I didn't like the way it turned out because of the font or whatever I just throw these in here and these are the usually the ones that I pull from and then my kids can use these anytime and I don't worry about it because as sticker people we always are like ah that was for a certain spread I was going to use if you have your little ones um, going through your sticker collection you can probably relate to that so what I tell my kids is if it says whoop sticker on it, personal use stickers, you, anything in here you can use and I'm not going to care. So these ones, the cuts might be off or maybe there was an, on this one there was an issue so I just cut around it so we could still use those. And these are some of the fall ones, the hydrate ones, the gray ones, Tiffany Bloom set. And then these are custom TV show ones that I have. The Woodlands collection with the little woodlands creatures in there. And just a whole bunch of miscellaneous ones in the back. So that's kind of how I keep this set. And then the last one that I have is the one that I started with originally. And this is a three ring binder. And it, so what I usually do is on this side, all the ones that I've gotten on sale or I have not used yet, 
I'll just keep these over here. So these might be for future planning themes. I'll keep these over here and I have some recollections. I thought those were so cute. And then moving on to inside, these are ones that I've already used and maybe there's some extras left over. And then on the other side, you can see those. And then I have some more that I've used. I had a bacon theme and I had the sock monkey theme at one point. And some miscellaneous. These ones I got in Thailand and there's just a whole bunch of little tiny ones. They're kind of puffy though, so I haven't used them very often or I haven't used these ones at all, but I have some other ones that I've used. But they do add a little bit of width to the planner, so I'm not too keen on using them, but I think these ones my kids will use. Then I have some hearts. These ones are from the dollar store and these ones are sticko. I don't think I've used those yet. And these are everything red, white, and blue. So it has 4th of July, hearts, and stars, and then on the other side, anything red, white, and blue themed. And these I think were the Target dollar store. These are like sweets and treats. These were from the dollar store, and I think these from Thailand. And then these are dogs and kitties. This is frozen theme. This is fall themed. These are some owls, some monkeys, some Halloween themes. And then I also have some Hello Kitty and winter themes. These are miscellaneous ones, Dr. Seuss. More miscellaneous bubbles. And this one I was gonna save for maybe a tropical trip. These are all like borders. These are all from the dollar store as well. These are more borders. These are some letters. These are miscellaneous ones that I have in here. And these are kind of more functional ones if I have a pool party or summer fun. And then these ones I got from the dollar store as well and it has test, game, date night, cupcakes for birthdays. And then Disney. I used to have a lot more but I used it on the spread so this is all that I have left. So that's it for my three ring binder. And hold on. These are the Doris stickers that you get from Michaels for a dollar. And I have the Disney one, Movie Mayhem, Happy Halloween, Booology, Freaky Fountain, Hair Today Gone Tomorrow, Happy Haunting, Prima Ballerina, Spring Has Sprung, Groovy Owl, Jungle Tales, Wild Things, and these are just a whole bunch of different ones. Spring Garden, Glitters, Ladybug, Fall, Sweet Things, Candy Christmas, and Snow Days, and Comfort and Joy sticker book. And these are a really good value because they're a dollar and look how many stickers you get. So what I like to do is kind of take my functional stickers and then add this to create the theme that I want. So I might start off with say this one and really want to use these but then I'll pull in these colors with my functional ones. So that's it for my sticker collection and sticker storage. I hope that you liked it and leave a comment below. I would love to hear how you store your stickers and thanks and have a great day. Bye.